Hi, this is the third presentation for the third week of the ISTF chapter funding workshop. And here we're gonna cover developing your work plan, the activities, outputs, and desired outcomes. Now, we've already, the outline then will be activities. What will you do to achieve the SMART objectives to reach your goal? Okay, your SMART objectives being specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-bound. And your activities need to be specific. And these activities will lead to three levels of results. The first level are the outputs, which are short-term quantitative results for each activity. The outputs lead to the outcomes, which are midterm results. They are what you actually need to measure to see if the objective is being achieved. And then the output outcomes lead to the impact, which is a cumulative long-term impact stemming from the midterm outcomes. And there are indicators you need to develop for each of these levels of results. And we'll cover that more on week five under evaluation. So on your activities, the activities should lead to achieving the SMART objectives. They should be as concrete and as specific as possible. You need to consider what activities you can realistically do. How much time will they take? Do you or your chapter have the necessary skills and knowledge or access to these to carry out those activities? For example, if you know geographic information systems, GIS, and nothing about nurseries and tree care, do not write a proposal about hands-on reforestation. Consider instead a project for monitoring based on GIS. Another thing to consider is, do you have all the necessary pieces in place for the project to work? For example, do you have communities already with interest in the project? Are you already collaborating with those communities in development of the proposed project? Or do you have other collaborations in place with other necessary organizations? And there are other components to consider. Now, if you lack these components, you need to back up and start at an earlier planning phase to make sure these pieces are in place for the project to be successful. So let's consider the result level one outputs. So these are the immediate short-term quantitative results for each activity. It's what, it's what needs to be done to move towards an outcome. And the examples would include number of workshops offered, number of people trained, number of trees planted, a care program implemented for planted trees. But outputs do not measure change. For example, changes in behavior and knowledge. Then consider the next level of results, the outcomes. Now the outputs lead to the midterm outcomes. This is actually what you want to achieve under an objective. And these should be measurable. They are often a measure of desired change from a baseline. For example, changes in behavior and knowledge or increase in tree survivorship. And the outcomes move a project forward, not the outputs. Then the third level of results are the impacts. The impact should relate to your overall goal. These are long-term broad results. An example might be broad adoption of tree care resulting in reforestation on a regional scale and improved livelihoods. These can be harder to measure and more subjective. Here is an example. Perhaps you have an overall goal to increase reforestation to provide fuel wood to reduce tree harvest in a reserve. So your objective might be, one of the objectives to achieve that goal might be to train community members in order to increase the success of reforestation. Then your activities might be, one of them might be workshops on nursery management, tree planting and plantation care. So your results might include on the short term, the outputs, a number of workshops on tree planting and care offered and a number of people trained. The midterm results or outcomes and increase in knowledge, 
increase in motivation of workshop participants, maybe measured via pre-post surveys, and maybe an increase in survivorship of planted trees. Now this could lead to the longer term impact um, that would go towards meeting the goal. Maybe you would see broader adoption of tree care resulting in measurable reforestation on a region, regional scale. And maybe you might even see reduced tree harvest in the reserve. So here are a number of references that will help you take yourself from the activities to the outputs, to the outcomes, to the impacts. And for your homework, I would like you to look at reworking the objectives in your draft proposal and your expected outputs, outcomes, and impacts. And make sure your activities are realistic and in, within the individual capacity of yourself or your ISTF chapter. Okay, well, I thank you uh, and we'll see you in the next video.